Hello, I'm Christopher Kenworthy and welcome to The Cinematic Look. The Cinematic Look is present in everything from blockbuster movies to high-end TV shows and the easiest way to achieve it is to go from a wide shot into a close-up and it's switching between these close-ups and wide shots that gives that feeling. Often you go from a wider lens to a longer lens and we'll look at how you can mix this up to create that cinematic look. In this scene, we've got a fairly medium shot of the woman at the desk and she's writing and after a moment, we cut from this medium shot to something slightly closer. Neither of these shots is really extreme. That close-up could be an extreme close-up. And instead of a medium shot, we could have looked at something much wider and the contrast between the two of those shots is what would make it work. In this version, we start with a wider shot, which not only gives us a better view of the whole scene, but gives us good contrast when we cut to this extreme close-up of the pencil. The camera can even be in the same position, it's just that we're using a wider lens for this shot and a longer lens for this one. You can switch this around, of course, and you could use a longer lens to establish the scene. So let's say we wanted to start with the view out of the window. We'll use a long lens for that, so we begin the scene by looking out of the window, then instead of showing her, we create a little sense of mystery by showing the pencil and then cut out to the wide shot, which connects everything together. We see the background that we'd already glimpsed and her sitting at the desk drawing. Arranging things in this way really helps to create that cinematic look. If you look at this shot, you can see we go from something fairly wide to a close-up of her feet, but you can go more extreme. Always remember that if you're shooting something that's fairly wide, you can go to something with a really long lens that brings it much, much closer. So from here, we could go to this, which is actually more cinematic. Such extreme contrast between the shots doesn't always work, but when you come to edit, it's good to have the choice. Quite often the cinematic look is very subtle. Here we begin with this wide lens as we push in and we take in the whole of the scene, the location, both the characters and it helps us know where everybody is. And as soon as that's been established we start to cut to the closer shots. So we have a medium shot of the first actor and then we move in even closer on the second actor. The contrast between this close up and that wide opening shot is very important to help give us that cinematic feel. Of course, you don't always have to start with a wide shot. In this particular scene, this is the first time we've met this character in the film and we see her in close-up. We're not even sure where she is until she moves back into her seat and then it becomes reasonably obvious that she's in a car. At this point, she gets out and we cut to an extremely wide shot of the whole location. This lets us see her in context before we jump cut to something a little closer which allows her to move into this position where the close-ups for the rest of the scene will take place. And it's important if you watch this again to notice where that jump cut occurs. It's just as she's passing behind the lamppost in the middle of the frame. It's given us just enough time to take in the whole street, see where she was coming from, but staying on that wide lens as she walked all the way up would make her look very distorted and appear too tall in the frame. So the cut's invisible because it happens at that moment that she passes behind that lamppost and then as she moves into position we're about to jump to an even longer lens. The camera is in the same place for all of these shots. We just move to a longer lens with each cut. You don't always have to change lenses to create this cinematic effect. This scene begins with a close-up so it feels as though we've got a long lens on. But as she moves away you realise we've actually got a very short wide lens which allows us to take in the whole room. This establishes the scene before we then cut in to longer lens shots of the two characters talking. And it's important in dialogue scenes like this to make sure that you have cutaways with a long lens as well, such as this. To illustrate how important this can be in storytelling, I've shot a little scene here with a medium lens and we see the whole thing play out in one take. Now this is a very common approach these days. People want to shoot the whole scene without a cut and that can work. But if you compare this to the later versions, you'll see how we get a more cinematic effect when we actually use different lens choices and cutting. But first of all, you'll see the story take place here. She's lost her car keys. She tries to get into her car. After a little bit of a struggle, she has this realization that she could use her earring to break into the car. And after a few moments of trying that, she meets with success. So that story is told in one shot. In the second version, I use cutting, but again, I'm sticking with this same lens. It's a 50 millimeter lens, and all that happens is I move my camera position. So at this cut here, 
It's the same lens, but I've moved in closer. And you can already feel this does appear more cinematic. You get more of a sense of story because we're cutting between these different setups. We get a better idea of what's going on, but it's not perfect because you still don't have any contrast in the lens choice. And that makes everything feel a little too similar. There's no visual contrast in the scene. So in this final version, I shoot with extremes of lens choice and cut between them rapidly. We start the scene with a longer lens as she realizes something is amiss and then cut to a very wide shot of her approaching the car. We can see where she is in relation to the car, what's going on, see her body language. Extreme close up of the bag going down, then a very wide lens to make it feel disorienting. Close up of her face to see her reaction. And here we get more camera movement because we're using that wide lens. And the wide lens lets us see a little more of her performance, but then a long lens on her hands allows us to pull focus. And then we cut to the medium shot we used before, then some close ups and very wide shots as she goes through the motions of opening this door. And this gives us a much better sense of story and helps us connect with what the character's going through. The cinematic look is what we strive for because it looks better, but also it's a really important storytelling tool. The more visual contrast you put into a film, the more the viewer pays attention and wants to see what the character is going through. And whatever sort of video you're making, telling story is absolutely essential.